Welcome back to the Atlas Masterclass. Today we're in Japan and we're cooking a mushroom ramen. So it's a semi, um, you know, it's a semi play on the dish of ramen. So using mushrooms, um, making a sort of very basic stock using some um, shiitake powder here. We've also got some mirin, so some sweet rice wine and also light soy. And then we're gonna cook some egg and sort of have that on top beautifully served with some Chinese broccoli, some miso in at the end as well. And then we're gonna cook these noodles. So having a bit of fun with the idea of ramen. It's one of my favorite dishes to eat when I go and visit Japan. And um, let's get cooking. So to make the stock, we go in with our shiitake powder into our pot, making sure we get all of it. So that will add a real sort of umami flavor. And umami is the fifth taste, very prominent in Japanese cuisine. And something that we're gonna really try and bring out by using the soy you know, uh, which will be that saltiness as well as a bit of umami. You've got the sweetness of the mirin and of course that shiitake mushroom just brings so much flavor. So I give that a mix and then I'm adding one cup of water per person, straight in like so. And then we're gonna bring this up to the boil. And once it's boiled, we're gonna add in our mushrooms, cook those for about two minutes. Then we're gonna poach our Chinese broccoli for about a minute or so. And then we're gonna use a technique where we put a ladle into the pot adding the miso into the ladle, really giving it a proper stir, and then pouring it out into the pot. And what that will do is that will cook the miso um, through the soup, so you get that sort of, um, when you look at a ramen, you might sometimes get that sort of splitness of the pork fat that goes through it when you're using a pork ramen, and it goes a bit cloudy, so we're trying to do that with the miso, and miso adds so much sort of depth and character to the dish. Um, but the key is with that is to not boil it once you add it in, so it'll be a sort of last minute thing check for seasoning, serve, and then we've got our noodles to go underneath. So while our stock's coming up to the boil, I'm gonna add our eggs into this pot. So I'm gonna cook them for about seven minutes, and I just want them to be nicely boiled. I'll take them out, cool it down and peel them. If you want a bit of a harder yolk, you can go a little bit longer, but I find that seven minutes seems to work perfectly for this dish. So the eggs are now two minutes away. So I'm now gonna add my mushrooms into our ramen. And I'll poach for about two minutes before we add the Chinese broccoli. Just give that a little mix. Letting that cook for about two minutes. And then I'm also gonna get our noodles ready. So once I've got the eggs got one minute to cook, I'm gonna add the noodles into it. So with these, I suggest they are covered in starch. So just giving them a little wash, washing some of that starch off prior to cooking them. And you'll find that they'll, they won't clump together at all. Just like so. And now with one minute left, Chinese broccoli, get a quick poach in this water and into here. And then I'm gonna add my noodles in and just boil them for one minute in this pot of water. And then we'll be ready to take our eggs and our noodles out in one minute. So now I'm gonna take our noodles and our egg out. and I'll cool the eggs down so we can peel them. So to add the miso into the soup, I place the miso into our little ladle, put it in the soup, get a little bit of the soup in there, and then I'm just gonna give it a nice little stir like so, just so it's not clumping at all. and you get this nice paste like that. Then I'm gonna turn it down because I don't want to boil the miso. And then adding that in and just stirring that through. And you'll see you'll be able to get that really traditional sort of look of the ramen where it's gonna be a little bit cloudy. That's exactly what we want. So now to serve, I'm gonna get our noodles. You can see by washing them that they haven't stuck together. Into the bowl. Coming across with our mushrooms. So Chinese broccoli.
and then of course the soup on top. So it smells absolutely delicious. I'm gonna give these eggs a quick peel. So I crack them to break the shell. And I find that doing it underwater is easier, so it helps get the shell off the egg. Give that a quick wash. Cut it in half. Beautiful soft yolk. And there we are. A Japanese spice mix on top, especially on those eggs. And that there is our beautiful mushroom ramen.